Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the Hydraulic Specialist. We have an exciting day today trying to get something done. I don't know what it is, but if you guys hang around long enough, you'll figure it out with me. Let's go. everywhere we have a clean floor there's no more work other than removing that plastic and we'll be golden wow it work so the next thing we're trying to do here is, is how to work uh, with safety in mind we want to have this thing up in the air and we want to uh, be safe enough to work we can work under the arms without having an accident so we're gonna lift this thing up take a measurement fabricate a, uh, a chuck or a lock for our cylinders. They make one that they give you with the unit, but obviously it's not here. Copycats of Bobcat, reverse pinnacle, reverse motors in there, but it's all the same. I never seen one of these units. This is the first time I looking at this. So we're gonna be learning together. We don't know what we're doing, but soon we'll be specialists. <laughs> Four. 
Last but not least, we're gonna go with number five. Oh, mother's out on top of my hand. Well, it's not gonna come out. Who said that? This thing has more silicone than Silicon Valley. Well, it's not working. So they were moving it and the brake assembly is probably shit. So you see how much heat goes in there? So that's probably the winding that they're hearing. Yeah, the brake is not releasing fully. Like I said, first time for everything, right? It's kind of weird. Well, so this whole thing gets filled up with oil. And yeah, it's 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 right. There comes the oil. See, this thing it shouldn't be stuck. This is your your distributors. There's no what like that. There's a seal, right? Usually they're they'll fall out of there. Freaking things are. It looks pretty good. I think I'll reseal it again. Not. Jump on there. It's the most fun you can have on a Thursday morning. Alright, so we're back working on this 232 and we got our our replacement drive motor in um, the other day we took apart the old one and showed you the internals of it the obviously it was pretty burnt so we needed a new motor got customer approval here it is so we're gonna go ahead and start throwing this thing in Damn. There it is.
Okay, first one from the back. On the bottom? Yeah, bottom, back. Okay. Next one. Yeah. Next one from the center out. and then a piece of pipe so I welded it together put a roller on there and uh, I'm able to don't stress over putting a tire on right now or any kind so you put it on the center roll your tire onto it and lift it and roll it in
just like that. doing anyways yeah dude. every hole you see bro <laughs> that last video you're fingering the shit out of there every o-ring every like anything you put your finger in bro these are the tools of the trade right here <laughs> that's getting cut <laughs> <laughs> clip it yeah that's not making it to the big screen